hi guys so for today's video I wanted to do a tutorial on this look which is very dramatic I know but it is a look that I've been wanting to do for a while and of course I'm using mostly Colourpop shadows except for one pigment if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching okay so we're gonna start by priming our eyes I'm gonna use the color tattoo the Maybelline color tattoo in the color creamy beige it's from the color tattoo leather collection and this is what the color looks like and I'm just gonna use that all over the lid up to the brow bone Now I'm going to go in with a ColourPop shadow, which is no surprise if you've seen my tutorials lately. And the color I'm going to use is called Sunny's, and it's a satin. That's what it looks like. It's a really bright orange color, but it's a really good transition color, which is what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to take my Just Blending and Brush from Live and Breathe Beauty, and I'm going to use that. The, this brush, as I said in my other tutorials, works well because it works well for me because it is a synthetic brush, but it's so soft and it blends very nicely and especially for these ColourPop shadows. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Naked Truth palette with my favorite highlight color and the brush that I always use to highlight lately and it's a Coastal Scents large shader brush. Now I'm going to just take the same blending and brush and blend those two colors together. Now I'm going to take my color pop shadow into a T. It is my favorite crease color right now. I'm going to take a Coastal Sense 250 brush. Going back in with the blending brush. And now we're going to grab my favorite ColourPop shadow to date. And that's going to be the color Bandit. And I swear this color is just everything. Look at that color. It's like a chocolatey, milk chocolatey, reddish brown color. It's just amazing, amazing color. The eBay brush pencil brush I did link it below so uh, I believe the link is still active if not you can always just type in pencil brush and you'll get this one it's really rounded and it's not necessarily a pencil brush it's more like a crease brush but just that's the reason why I love it because it's not a precise pencil brush it's the perfect shape for the crease I'm going to take my Just Blending and Brush and blend out the edge of that Bandit color. I'm 
I'm gonna take the Bandit color once again on my Sigma pencil brush, the E30, and use that on the lower lash line. I'm going to take the e.l.f. glitter primer, this is what it looks like, and I'm going to place that on my lid everywhere where I don't have shadow right now. Then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Vegas Lights pigment. I'm actually going to use some Fix Plus on the brush and use it. As you can see, it's kind of hard to apply with my, my finger because my finger is too big for like most of my eye. <laughs> I'm also going to take the same brush and put the same pigment on the lower lash line. I've already put glitter glue and I'm just going to use the same pigment. Once you think it's pretty dry, you're going to take, well, I'm going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to blend out the lower lash line a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with this, another ColourPop shadow called Mittens and I'm going to take that on the same rounded pencil brush from eBay and it's like a dark chocolate color. I'm just going to pop that into the crease as well. I'm just going to take my pencil brush once again and use that same mittens color on the lower lash line but just on the outer of the lower lash line. And with the Just Bling and brush, we're just going to basically blend everything together at this point, getting to the final touches. Okay, as you can see, there's a huge difference from the last time I was on camera, and that's because I did pretty much the rest of the steps off camera, and the only reason why I do that, I'm going to tell you guys, honestly, is because it will take me forever to do it on camera. I have to put the lashes on, like, really close to the mirror. I have to put the liner on the same way, really close to the mirror. So, what I did was, I put on mascara, and I'm using my little sample Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte, and then I put on my NYC liquid liner and Kogo lashes in Goddess. And these lashes are everything they're to die for. Look how they flare out. That's what I love mostly about these lashes is that they just flare out so beautifully. And yeah, so that's what I did. And then I used the Rimmel Scandalized in black as usual. I will have everything listed below. I just used that in the inner rim and just pretty much tight lined and water lined with that but as far as that goes that completes this look Hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I really love the way this came out. If you guys are getting bored of the warm uh, tone looks, then just let me know and leave me a comment down below. I really gravitate more towards warm looks because I have yellow undertones in my skin. I just think with my brown eyes, warm tones look great. 
but it's just my opinion and it's just my preference but if you guys like would like to see more cool tones or any specific color combinations just let me know in the comments below as usual i have all the products linked below and for my lips i use jordana easy liner for lips in tawny and kind of sexy by mac for lipstick it's a matte lipstick but it's not super super matte like drying matte so i love this color as like a basic everyday nude anyway thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day bye